Hello viewers. Uh, last few sessions we are seeing uh, the animation, how to do the sliding, how to do fading fade out with jQueries. Lot of interesting topics I covered previously. Please go through my previous videos. Today I am come up with some new concepts. How to do animation with the start stop functionality. Suppose um, uh, I just started my animation. I have the three set of uh, stop activities like stop stop all stop but finish how to do this one see actually there is a, a three stuff stop it will stop there stop all means all the activities um, running in a jQuery will stop stop but finish means it will stop the action uh, at the end level So mm, how to do this one? Yeah, uh, I will show you this uh, things by uh, flip my uh, studio from the scratch. I going to develop this one to achieve this target. Let me see how it works. Okay. See, uh, actually here I. Added some four button with ID uh, button one, button two, button three, and button four, and I created one div uh, with width uh, and height hundred pixel, position obsolete, and I am giving the background color uh, red. Mm, inside I have my YouTube channel uh, text go free launcher. See uh, the design will look like this. I just uh, run my application and show you that. okay so now uh, the option I have to set for start once start it will be animation will happen stop means it will stop stop all means all the activity uh, which I applied or uh, going to stop and stop uh, but finish it means like um, once I click the stop but finish it will be so the end result without doing the animation so let me see one by one how to do the things so I have my design HTML views so let me uh, go on. Um, let me go and create my script. Uh, this is why I uh, show you uh, because uh, for time consumption, you can easily understand. If you want to do the design view, how to do that? Please go through my previous sessions. I develop lot of times how to add the button, how to create the div, how to add the styles, everything. by using a, a document ready function once my document is ready I can um, write my queries here okay my document is ready whenever the page load this document will hit first step um, once the start it will uh, do the animation so um, I just create my uh, click event function first um, button dot click function okay once I click I take my ID div and animate it to move from a left corner um, to 30 pixel sorry 300 pixel okay this is my first animation second animation um, I going to um, increase my font size uh, before I'm doing the things I just plan to increase my width to width and height to so you feel a good difference what I am going to do exactly mm, okay uh, 
get 400 X. Second animation. I just change my font size. Okay, my uh, start to button event is done. So let me see how it's uh, really working. Yep, once I click start, yep, my action is doing before i'm showing something different but uh, this is the way i want to give you the output so i'm just making the way like this okay and let me see uh, the three types of stop operation how to do with this okay uh, before doing this animation steps um, i just want to set my uh, delay so my stop operation uh, will be run smoothly okay fine first step do the stop operation okay okay my second button now I just to copy my big event um, code so for time consumption only I, we need to change the button ID And then the same likewise uh, for uh, all the buttons I just want I will create it copy paste it and change only the ID because button one click this uh, function will execute button to click this one button three button four so let me see one by one first stop okay button two actually do the stop operation so by doing the stop I take my uh, div ID stop okay fine let me again uh, reload the page start done I stop my uh, action but why this is uh, coming like this because uh, whatever the event which is firing it will stop that one so there is a one more action that uh, one more button that I uh, generated stop it will stop all the action uh, all all the function happen before so this is stop the current uh, action which we doing only it will stop that second event that it will automatically execute so this is my first event that I just moving from the left or with this increasing I stopped but this animation I didn't stop so uh, that's what I come up with second button I just take my um, my stop action with uh, pausing my first parameter true okay if we set uh, the stop true it will block all the action let let me run this application and i'll show you start stop it will stop all the stuffs whatever happened but uh, if you go with the stop see the second operation will execute so when we want to stop all the stuffs you have to use stop with the parameter true so what is my uh, fourth button will do let, let me show that things also i just copy the same code here with adding my one more extra parameter this uh, will give you the result it will stop all the action in the end level okay i will show you in demo you can easily understand I reload it start stop yep it executed me at the final stage of my animation 
why this is not happening this is because we are uh, doing the stop operation with finish level because the first uh, event is happened we stopped all the events and we are executing the final order so that's why uh, it, the result will be like this so uh, this is the way uh, to do the three step of operation will start you can st stop it start you can stop all start stop finished it will execute immediately the end result it will show through the end result immediately so thanks for watching the video please comment us for further things or any queries i will come up with a new concept in the next session thanks for watching the video